All right, so check it out. Let's talk about this week in hip-hop history. And I got a ton of records to talk about, so I'm going to just run through them real quick, all right? So, first up, February 23rd, 1988, Biz Marquee released his debut album titled Going Off. And shouts out to the Biz Marquee. I know he's been having some uh, health issues as of lately, so smash that heart button and send the Biz some good vibes. Next up, February 26, 1991, LL Cool J released his hit single called Mama Said Knock You Out. And that means that this song turns 30 years old this week. And it still gets a great crowd reaction every time I play it. That's a timeless classic right there. Moving right along, February 25th, 1992, Boogie Down Productions released their fifth and final album called Sex and Violence. Boogie Down Productions, of course, was the New York Hip Hop Collective featuring KRS-One, D-Nice, and DJ Scott LaRock. Rest in peace. Next up, February 23rd, 1993, Ice Cube released his hit single called It Was A Good Day. And I remember someone actually did the research to determine exactly what day Ice Cube was talking about in this song. And it was determined to be January 20th, 1992 that he was talking about. All right, what do we got next here? February 28th, 1995, The Nonce released their debut album called World Ultimate. And The Nonce, of course, was affiliated with the underground hip-hop collective out of Los Angeles known as Project Blowed. Also, on February 28th, 1995, Brother Lynch Hung released his debut album called Season of the Sickness. Brother Lynch, of course, is considered by many as one of the founders of the horrorcore rap genre. February 23rd, 1998, Eminem released his second album, The Slim Shady LP. How many of you Eminem fans we got tuning in and watching tonight? Are you guys still rocking with Eminem? Yes or no? Drop a comment and let me know. February 27th, 2001, Jay Dilla released his debut solo album called Welcome to Detroit. Type rest in peace, Jay Dilla, down in the comment section and show some love. And last but not least, February 24th, 2004, Royce the 5'9 released his second album titled Death is Certain. And Royce the 5'9 is an MC out of Detroit, Michigan. He's also one of Eminem's right hand men. And Royce has also done some ghostwriting for uh, the likes of Diddy and Dr. Dre. And that concludes this week in hip hop history. Rick, 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 Rick,